many looks, but we ain't there, books. You'll see on the facts that your friends overlook. So always be proud, you can say it. Assalamu alaikum. Uh... I promised you guys that I would do a video of my story of how I came to be in Islam. So I just recorded a video, but it was 20 minutes, and I thought that that was a little bit too long. So I'm going to shorten it now, inshallah. A brief history, I was born and raised a Southern Baptist, and later on became um, a non-denominational Christian or a Christian who practices a, a non-denomination. When I was in the university, uh, I took an Arabic class. And one day I went to a cafe to work on my homework for my Arabic class. And a guy came up to me and he said, Hey, is that Arabic? I said, yeah, I'm taking my first semester of Arabic in, in the university. He said, oh, would you like some help? I said, yeah, sure. So he sat with me and he helped me taught me how to pronounce uh, Arabic letters, Arabic words, um, corrected my writing, listened to me read in Arabic, and then he invited me over to sit with his friends. They would talk to me about Islam. And what I loved about these guys was that they never pushed Islam on me. They never pressured me. They never told me, you're going to go to hell if you don't believe in this. They just told me, just casually talked to me about Islam. I would ask questions. They would answer. They would um, tell me things from the Quran. They would recite Quran for me. And I thought, this is a beautiful religion. And so I asked more and more and more. And I researched more and more and more. And any time I was confused about something, I would go and talk to them about it. And alhamdulillah... They were great. They gave me really good, educated advice. Um, if they didn't know the answers to something I asked, they would go and find the answers from a scholar or, you know, someone, a sheikh, someone who's educated and has a lot of um, experience teaching Islam to non-Muslims. And... The more and more I learned about Islam, the more I fell in love with it. And I agreed with everything in Islam, and everything was beautiful to me, and everything started making sense. But the only thing I was conflicted about was who Jesus was. Because I was born and raised believing and knowing and thinking that Jesus was the Son of God, who was the Savior for all mankind, who died on the cross for our sins... I told um, my friends about that, and they said, okay, just go home and pray, and ask God to guide you to the right religion. They didn't say, ask God to guide you to Islam, or to become a Muslim, or to help you see the truth. They just said, go home and pray to be guided to whatever the right way is, whether it's Christianity, or Islam, or Judaism, or not religion at all, just go home and pray. So I went home and I prayed and I just said, God, I'm, I'm having a conflict. Please just guide me to the right way. Whatever it is, guide me to the right way. And subhanAllah, I started having Islamic dreams. I had dreams about reading the Quran, reciting the Quran in the desert. I had dreams that I got taken up to the top of a mountain and was asked to call the Adan. And when I told this dream to to uh, my friends, I thought it was a bad thing because they had told me that only men call the Adan. And I thought, this isn't good. I'm having these bad dreams. Turns out that it was more or less um, a dream symbolizing that... Perhaps I would be a leader for maybe sisters or children. I would be someone that would be there to to call people to Islam. And it was crazy because I wasn't even a Muslim yet. I had dreams about praying Salah. I had dreams about reading Arabic. And in one of the dreams, I was walking around an Arab city and I and I kept hearing this word, Abida. 
And I thought, what, what is this word? So I wrote it down when I woke up because it was really, 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 really convincing in my dream. Like it's, it's, it was one of the most powerful, most vivid parts of the dream that I remember is just hearing this word over and over and over again. And I had been taking Arabic, so I knew how to write it. So I just wrote Ain, Aleph, Ba, Dal, Tamarbuta. I took it to my professor at the university, my professor of Arabic, my Ustad. I said, what does this word mean? He said, well, it's Abida, it means like a worshiper of Allah. He said, where did you hear this word? I said, I heard it in my dream last night. He said, well, Abd, the root word Abd, it means slave. Slave of Allah. So, like Abdul Malik, Abdullah, Abdul Rahman, Abd, slave. But he said Abda is an adjective, meaning worshiper of Allah, for like a woman. And this word was like really deep for me. So I kept on, I kept learning about Islam, and I started feeling a peace. I didn't have conflict anymore. I started feeling like this was the religion that that I've been looking for. This is the relationship with God that I've been searching for my whole life that I never found in Christianity. Always in Christianity, I was always doubting or I was not fully convinced and I wasn't in it with my full heart. It's undeniable when you read the Quran, you know, you have to know it has all of the answers. When I got done reading this Quran, I felt 110% convinced that this was the right way for me, that this was the right religion, and that Allah was giving me so much, was making it so easy for me to accept this religion. And it wasn't until like a year after I was a Muslim that I was so thankful that I had a heart of thankfulness, of gratefulness to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Allah could have chosen anyone in the world. My my family, my non-Muslim friends, my people that I meet in the store, anyone, anyone in the world. He could have chose to guide to the right path, to guide to Islam. And he chose me. And that is the most amazing thing about being a revert, is that Allah chose me. And I knew that. After reading the Quran, I thought, this is my chance. Allah is giving me this opportunity to accept this religion. And if I don't accept it, I'm going to feel like I rejected the thing that I've been looking for my whole life. I decided to take Shahada. And, and that's how I got into the religion. And that's why I'm so thankful every day that Allah chose me to be a part of Islam. And... I feel 110% convinced and I believe in my religion and I stand up for my religion and I try to follow my religion the best that I can, inshallah, and um, it's been awesome. So I promised I would share my story and I hope that you guys um, have learned more about me, inshallah. Okay, salam alaikum.